What's up everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. Out of all the years of doing YouTube and all the Minecraft videos I've made and all the tutorials I've gone through, one of the things I've never done was a beginner's guide on how to start playing Minecraft. Because even after all these updates and different versions have come out, there's still no good tutorial or guide to teach you how to play this. You just kind of drop in and kind of have to figure out, which is part of the fun, of course, but when you're brand new, it's very daunting. So I thought I would do this series to kind of help out with some new people because because there's tons of new people joining all of the time. There's like a hundred million people playing across portable, console, and PC. So I'm hoping this video will help you guys out in getting started for anybody who's new to Minecraft. Now I'm doing this video on PC in version 1.10. So if you're using on a console version or the portable edition, it may look a bit different, but the basic concept is the same. Okay, let's get started here. This right here is your life bar. When it runs out, you die. This right here is your food bar. It slowly goes down over time on its own, but it goes down a lot faster when you're sprinting, mining, digging, building, fighting things. It slowly depletes. Now, when your food bar is completely full, your life bar will slowly regenerate on its own. So you want to make sure to keep your food intake going to keep your food bar all the way full. And you'll see when it starts going down on its own. The bar right below that is your experience bar, and as you destroy things and build things, craft things, whatever you're playing the game basically, you'll see it slowly start filling up with green, and eventually you'll see green numbers right there in the middle of it to tell your current number, what your level is. And that is basically going to be used for enchanting, which is a little ways off for people who are new, so don't worry about it necessarily. The bar at the bottom, this is your active toolbar. This is where you're going to be putting tools and weapons and items and things that you're currently using. But this is where you'll be able to access your current list of items. And you can either press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to scroll all the way through them, or you can use the scroll wheel to go through them. Now, if you open up your inventory, you'll see all of this storage space up in here. It's your inventory. Some people refer to it as your backpack. You got your basic crafting window up here, a little 2x2 two two spot that you will use to build some minor things. And then when you get to the point where you can find or build armor, this is where you'll equip it. You got your head, chest plates, leg plates, and feet armor, and of course you can equip a shield. And then this is what your character looks like here. One of the most important resources you're going to use the most in the entire game is wood, especially when you're starting off here. And you get wood from trees. So when you're very first starting off, you're going to be doing a lot of this, punching some trees. You can do some minor level deforestation here. But as you can see, every time you break apart a block, you get one block of wood here. So you'll want to get as much as you possibly can for the very beginning, and then you'll be going through and getting lots and lots of wood later as you're building more and more tools, if you start building your own place to live, and things of that nature. So we'll start off with just a couple of them here, and that should do it. A quick pro tip here. When you're chopping down trees, go ahead and try and take out all of the existing wood that's in there. Try and chop up as high as you can until there's no more, because then all of the foliage will slowly start to fade away on its own, instead of just sitting there, and it'll slowly start dropping some spruce saplings that you can replant to you know replenish nature and all that happy fun stuff so you have your wood now that you got here when you pick up wood it's going to be these basic wood blocks now when they're in this form the only thing you can really do with them is stack them if you're going to use them for building or use them for a source of fuel later on in your stove but what you want to do is convert these into things you can craft with so you take the entire stack by left clicking which real quick if you're if you pick up a stack of things with left click you'll carry the whole thing you can press right click and it'll slowly put one down at a time or if you right click an entire stack, you'll take half of it. So that's just a quick tip on how to maneuver things. So anyway, you'll take your wood blocks and put them up here in your crafting table. You can put them anywhere you want to. Doesn't necessarily matter. And each one you have here is going to give you four wood planks. So you can click one at a time and slowly move them down there. Or you can hold shift and click it and it'll turn the entire stack into what you have here. It's a quick way to do that. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do to be able to do any kind of advanced level crafting is to make a crafting table. So pick up your stack, and you're going to need four wood planks. You're going to put them in a square like you have here, and now you have your crafting table. Put it down in your active toolbar, and then just find any place you want to put it, which you'll see it kind of highlights the ground as you're moving around looking, and that's the active place that's going to put it, and you just right click to place it. All right, now on to some basic level crafting. So you right click to access the crafting table and you'll see this one's a three by three versus the two by two one that was your personal inventory. So you have a lot of wood planks and you're going to use this for doing a lot of the basic level crafting, but something you're also going to need is sticks and you get that from wood planks. So you place one above, one below, anywhere on the table. It doesn't necessarily matter where it's at and you get four sticks for each set of blocks you put up at the top here. So you want to make a couple 
You don't want to need, uh, waste your entire stack there. So the 16 is a good to start with. And I'll walk you through how to make the basic tools here. So for beginners, what you need to do is to make a pickaxe. The most popular item in the game, one you'll use probably more than anything. So you place two sticks down here in the middle. Now these do matter in the order which you place them. Two sticks down here in the middle and three wood planks up at the top and you have a wooden pickaxe. Also, you can place one at the bottom and then two wooden planks up above it and it'll give you a sword. And this will be used for doing main attacks defend yourself off a little bit some other tools that you can make at the very beginning that you don't absolutely have to is you can make a shovel by placing just two wood sticks down here in the middle and one plank at the top and get a shovel if you place one more to the side you'll get a hoe which you'll use later on for farming and you can place one more below that in this format and you can get a wooden axe and you'll use this for chopping down trees but for now i'll go ahead and take that but for now, don't make too many wooden tools because wood is very weak in the game and it will break down a whole lot faster. What you need to get is to where you can make some stone tools. And then after you upgrade stone a little bit more, you'll get iron tools. And then from iron tools, you can go all the way up to diamond tools. So what you need to start off with is take your wooden pickaxe and find some cobblestone. It looks like this, kind of sitting around the world here. You have this grainy stuff, which is diorite, I believe. And then you have cobblestone, and you'll have different things, gravel mixed in the mix there. And these are all different kinds of stones that you can pick up. But what you need is cobblestone. So you just hold down the left mouse button and you'll pick up blocks just like you would any other thing. And just go ahead and collect a good chunk of cobblestone. Another important resource you're going to need very early on is coal. And you're going to get it from blocks that look like these. And you'll use your pickaxe, whichever one you currently have or whatever, and just go to town on each individual block. And for each one of them, it's going to give you one piece of coal. And you're going to need as many of as you can because you'll use these to make torches. Torches are what light up your world, of course, especially at nighttime. It helps keep some mobs, the bad guys, from spawning in around you. And you'll also use coal for a fuel source when you're doing a lot of your cooking. Another pro tip, don't lose track of where you put your crafting table. You can actually use an axe and chop it back down to pick it back up so that you can carry it with you and then set it back down at a later spot so you don't lose it and have to recraft it again. But okay, now we got a whole bunch of cobblestone. We picked up some and andesite and diorite. Neither one you need right at the moment. Those are going to be for like decorative blocks later on. But now that you have some cobblestone, so you can make some more robust tools. I would definitely recommend keeping stone pickaxes with you, and you're going to want a stone sword with you. Both of these will last a whole lot longer than wood. And these will allow you to be able to get some of the other items later on. Because when you do find things like iron ore and gold ore and things of that nature, you have to have at least a stone axe to get those. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to be able to make is some torches. Torches are easy. You can use the crafting table or you can use your personal crafting so if you're out and about to have your crafting table. One stick and one piece of coal will give you four torches. Like I said, torches light up the night and it helps keep mobs from spawning in. The next thing you're going to want to make when you find a place where you can settle down for the night and kind of just chill for a little bit is going to be a furnace. And that is so that you can make food edible by cooking it here. So all you need is eight pieces of cobblestone and you just place them in the shape of a picture frame minus one in the middle and you will get yourself a furnace. Furnace works just like this as far as placing it down. Just right click it wherever you want to. And when you open it up, you're going to see these boxes down here. This box right here is the fuel source. So you can put things like wood down here or you can put coal down here. And it will actually turn on when you have something to cook. As I was saying earlier, your food bar slowly goes down. As you can see, mine is right now. I'm down three, almost three and a half food blocks. So I'm going to come up and take out a cow. Just beating it with the sword, and you'll see it gave me three pieces of raw beef. Now, if you eat this now, it's not going to give you much health and can actually make you sick. So what you want to do is come over to your furnace, drop a piece of coal in there, and put your raw beef in there. You're going to need probably a couple pieces of coal. One coal doesn't last for very long, but you'll see this bar slowly fill up as each one's cooked. And it does take a little while to actually cook things. But when you have it, now you have a piece of steak. And to eat, all you have to do is just activate that one by highlighting it in your toolbar there and right click and hold it down and he will eat it. Now my food bar is completely full and as you can see my experience bar has gone up as well. So get these and hang on to them for later. And take out my piece of coal again. And that is how you do basic cooking. Same thing works with chicken and fish.
And if you look up at the sky, you'll see the sun is slowly moving down as it goes on here. During the daytime, you're mostly pretty safe against mobs or bad guys or enemies or whatever you want to call them. Most people just call them mobs. Um, right now, there's no none of them around here for me to show you, fortunately, so I'm pretty safe. But the different kinds of mobs you have are skeletons, zombies, creepers, and spiders. Those are the main ones you're going to see all the time in the open world here. Now, zombies and skeletons do not like the sunlight. So if the sun is up and they're out, they're going to be hiding underneath trees. They're going to be hiding in caves because if the sun catches them, catches even a glimpse of them, a little bit of them, it'll set them on fire and they will burn to death. Now, creepers and spiders are not affected by the sun. They will roam around day or night and they will just go ahead and act like the sun's not even there. Now, spiders can climb. That is one thing to keep in mind about spiders. So if you build yourself a small house and you don't put a roof on it and there's a spider outside, they can climb up over the top and beat you. And of course, if you know anything about creepers, when they get too close, their fuse ignites, they get a little bit excited and they explode. So I think that's about it for this very beginner's level entry guide to Minecraft and hopefully it was very useful to anybody who's new to the game or just starting off and just wants a couple of the tips. Um, I will do a part two if enough people have any of the things they want me to kind of show you how to do in the game. This is very elementary for anybody who's been playing it but like I said out of the thousands of new people that are always playing the game and joining in then this could be beneficial to them and get them a little bit more acclimated on how to survive. So, in the meantime, hope this was useful to you guys. You know, be sure to drop a like on the video if you found it useful. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. Thank you so much for your time, and I will catch you later.